This is part three of how to use Inkscape. And this, uh, we're going to explore how to use this little uh, alpha generator. You can first go ahead and set your default text by coming up and choosing the kind of uh, font that you want to use, whether you want it to be bold, and what the size of it is that you want to have. And that will be the default. Now you'll see how easy it is to change the size of things, but it's good to have a size that's as appropriate for the size of plot that you're dealing with here. So I'm going to set mine up to be a little bit smaller than that, about 18, and I'll set that as the default for right now, and I'm going to close. So now I'm going to come over, and again, the chameleon eye is looking at root where I want it to be whenever I do this. I select this, and now I'm going to go ahead and select a box and that box comes up and I can start typing. So what you can see is that I have this text. Now when the text is selected it's in the size that I wanted it to be and I can change the color of it by just coming over and selecting it and clicking on this color bar down here, the color I want. And then when I say look at it I go, oh that's there but maybe I should try and stretch it out so I can stretch it out and you can see that it's all stretched out. It's still pretty readable. It's not the size that uh, I had done, but it looks pretty re readable and easy to, to read. So I, and I filled up some space there. Looks kind of cool. So I'll keep that like that. Now let's say that I want to use the same tool and I'm looking in here and I, I notice that up here on contract number, there's no contract number. Well, I don't want to go back to my data layer and do go off this. So, so why don't I just click on this and then type in my contract number and be done with it, which is what I do. So I've typed in a contract number and by the same token I can get rid of text or modify or make any correction on any text that I want. Select this, maybe I think this is a little too long-winded, I don't want to have that in there. And so I can come in, get rid of northing, and just say, you know, why? And so on. So that's one way I can use that. And then I have other tools in here, many of which I will never use because uh, I don't necessarily want to put little stars all over my plots, but that's the kind of thing that you can do if, if you want. You know, you want to put a gold star on your plot, go ahead. You can do it and you can adjust the opacity of it down here. You can adjust the thickness. These fill and strokes can be adjusted for each object by manipulating these various little features up here. You just play around and figure out how it all works. And then once you get your gold star, then you can take it and you can move it wherever you want for, you know, whatever makes your clock tick. So, there we have a plot which didn't take very long to prepare. And it's full screen. It's got a lot of information on it. It's got a lot of jazz on it. And it's the kind of thing that you can uh, easily modify and you can save. Now the question is, what are you going to do to print it? The best way to print it is to come here and go File save as and then choose the portable document PDF and I'm going to call this the video plot and I save it to a PDF file and then I can go to that PDF file and I can print it to whatever printer I want to using the output printer capability of the Adobe Reader which is probably the best reader that you can have. Now if I want to center something after the fact I can use these tools over here to do it. If I want to just make sure that this whole thing is centered on the page I can select that and then I can hit this or if I wanted to make sure it was left justified I can do that. It puts it all the way over to the left but I don't want it that way. I want it in the center and so those tools are, are invoked by hitting this. If that's not already there I can come up here and I can hit that and it brings it back into this panel over here where I can choose whatever one I want. There's different tools in here. So that pretty much covers that.